Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Siege of Dragonspear. I have adjusted the volume a little bit where we left last time we were back in our little apartment I guess is the closest thing I can think of. It would appear that we have some loot. Oh it's all the stuff in the crypt. We are going to be super overloaded aren't we? Okay. We're going to play Tetris. Item Tetris. Oh man. It's going to be a hard Tetris. That can go in there and hopefully that will not fit in there so that's good. Um, alright. What else do we have? So many things. Alright. So we need to figure out this. What happened to our gold? I thought we had gold. Okay, well, we can fix the situation. First of all, we don't need normal arrows anymore. No one in our current group of one person needs arrows. Scroll of blindness isn't worth all that much. Random tomb key is not important. The wand could be important. These potions are probably not. They're just light healing potions. What's the Crusader pamphlet? I copied the note. Now I can throw it away. But more importantly, what did it actually say? I didn't really read it. Earn gold with your blade. Every coin you earn is food in the mouth of your family. Every enemy you slay secures your rank in the crusade. Kalor's crusade marches in the north. Shall you join them? Arm yourself and claim your first ten days pay while supporting the cause of right. See your recruitment officer and start earning coin today. Ah, that propaganda. I might be able to put that gem in the thing. Wand of the Heavens is worth usually quite a bit, even with such a low amount of charges. We're going to have to leave the normal armor. We're going to really just kind of focus on... Magical junk. I might throw away that 5 arrow if there's a... Larger stack of magical ones, which there are. Actually, maybe not. We'll see. Uh, we'll take that. This is going to be such a painful process. Alright. Um, we can't equip that. We can do that. That's fine. I'm going to go with no on this particular wand. Alright, we have three slots left. Taking the cloak. There's too many things I want. I'll take the bracers. And I want to see I'll take the morning star. I could probably come back here later and grab more stuff eventually. I'm hoping anyways. Because otherwise this is going to kind of suck. Let's go take a look out here. So Imoen went to go find... Oh, Imoen just went down. Or not. Cut her down. Wow. That dude just died. The hero is here. Take I don't know how he's shouting, considering he's dead. Are you here? The palace is under attack. Oh, hells. Another guard, put her down quick. Hey, that was my kill, you kill stealing. Worry about that later, we gotta move. There may be more assassins about. All lie dead in my hand. I mean, that's possible. A healer should be here soon. I'm gonna have to redo the music volume versus the voice volume because holy crap, the music volume is extremely loud in this area. Um, you did what you could, and I thank you for it. Is everyone else safe? I wish I knew. Duke Altan has people trying to assemble the council for the main hall. You may want to join them once your friends been taken care of. Okay. We might have to read that part. Let me just. Holy sound volume on that. It's I should have the movie volume up. 
That's still pretty loud. Inwin, are you here, girl? She is here, Grand Duke Janath. But she needs help. Let me see her. There's a parchment on the ground. I should probably grab that. Inside this folded piece of parchment is a passingly accurate rendering of the face of me, hero of Baldur's Gate. I'll copy it. And then we'll probably keep it too. I don't really want to get rid of my potion of stone giant strength though. Um, that sucks. Oh well. We'll come back for it later if we need to. Fenster and the other healers are dealing with the wounded downstairs. I've some knowledge of the healing arts and a few potions. Perhaps I can be of assistance. What's going on, Duke Janath? Several assassins managed to penetrate the palace. Some guards stumbled upon them and raised the alarm. A handful of the attackers were slain. The rest scattered through the building, finding their way to you and wounding my apprentice. The assassin's blades are coated with a mystic poison, but I believe I can save her. What can I do to help? The best thing you can do right now is accompany Captain Corwin downstairs and ensure the palace is secure. Of course, milady. I'll give you a moment to recover yourself and await you on the second floor. Okay. But more importantly, I need to loot this area. And actually, we're going to pause for one second. Alright, we are back. Sorry about that. Let's continue on our way. Uh, anything over here? Yes. One more shelf. Not that we have any room, but still. What is all this? Nothing of great imports. All right, let's move on. Let's head down to the second floor. Two arms. There are more assassins about. I'm on it. No, you're you're ruining my killing blows. I need the experience. Oh, Corbin, you're doing too much damage. Is that all of them? It doesn't matter. If there are more, they too will fall. The council will want to know you're alright. We should get downstairs. Let's go. You're not I'm part of my group. You're my real mom. You can't tell me what to do. What? Where do these stairs leave? Lead. Not leave. Also leave. I'm oh, I see. It's just the other side of this room. Yeah. I'm on it. Uh, there is stuff to loot, but unfortunately our inventory is chock full at the moment, so we'll have to come back for it. Unless it's something good for us. You know what? You're right. I can hear people thinking, go check at least what it is. So, arrows plus one. Oh. Apparently if you wait too long down here, they'll come find you. I'll just have to kill them all. <laughs> and nothing there. Alright. And let's down this way. Not a whole lot. They actually trapped me in a room and ambushed me. That's actually neat. Good AI slash scripting. There's a couple bottles of wine, but nothing of real note. And here we are, back down. Let us begin. You know your host, Duke Belt, and Grand Dukes L10 and Entar Silver Shield, I believe. I do know them. Um Assassins tried to kill me this night. Let's dispense with the pleasantries. Let's. What do you know of the so-called Shining Lady, Kalar Archer? Your voice is very low, Duke Elton. Why do you ask? I examined the body of one of the assassins. The sun cresting the horizon was branded upon his forearm. The symbol of Kalar Argent and her cursed crusade. The crusade is in Baldur's Gate. I thought they were only active north of the winding water. They were. Something has changed. Is that Tuvok? The Crusade has disrupted trade all along the Sword Coast. Hundreds, thousands have been driven from their homes, their fields and storehouses ransacked. 
It really sounds like Tuvok from Voyager. Some weeks ago, we dispatched a hundred flaming fists to join with soldiers of Waterdeep and Daggerford and march on Kalar's stronghold, Dragonspear Castle. No, it won't be enough. The Crusades' ranks have swelled. After the Iron Crisis, the fists are already stretched perilously thin. Even so, we're sending every sword we can muster north. Would have you join them. The hero Baldur's Gate is once again called to defend the city. I nearly died saving it from Saravok. Why should I tempt fate and death twice? I took this parchment from one of the assassin's bodies. It is a passable likeness of you. I think you'll agree. I need to change the volumes again. The uh, music volume is not very well balanced in this game, I've noticed. That's okay, though. Sometimes it's really quiet, and sometimes it's just like has a rising crescendo that overpowers every other sound. It's incredible. Anyways, I found one just like it, so I was the assassin's target. Kalar Argent did not seek to kill us this night. You were her target. Find her and find out why. Knowing will benefit us all. You need not go alone. The fist shall back you, and more as well, if you wish. I know the whereabouts of your old allies, some of them anyway. The captain here can escort you to them. Captain Corwin, I can think of no better companion. Spoken like someone who barely knows me, but I'll take what compliments I can get and do what I can not to change your mind. When you're ready to leave, go to the palace's main doors. I'll await you there. Okay. You're doing Baldur's Gate a great service. We'll not forget it. I hope not. All right. Now at least we can hopefully fix that sound thing again. Voice volume, even more. Music volume, down even more. Okay. I'm on it. You remember me. Surely you do. I do. Of course, Sky. But why are you here? As I recall, you were kidnapped when we last spoke. I was just a child then. Now, I'm a woman. I've even joined... Well, never mind. I'll tell you that later. When I'm sure we're alone. I heard you talking to Daddy and the other Dukes about Kalar. Are you going to Dragonspear? The Shining Lady and I have business to settle. Daddy hasn't told you everything. Did he mention he thinks Kalar might be one of Ball's children? Yeah, <laughs> I thought not. We can't talk here. I'll tell you more later. Thank you, Sky. Well, there's no one else in our group, which means we still can't loot more things. I guess we can go talk to, uh... Leah Janath. Hello! I am glad to see you well. And I, you. Tell me how first Imwin. The intruder's weapons were poisoned, but Timora smiled upon us. The poison was weak and fatal only to the weakest of victims. Imwin's heart beats much stronger than that. It's worrisome that the palace was so easily penetrated. And to learn that Kalar's reach extends this far beyond the winding water. In attacking me, she has overextended herself. I fear we are missing something here. Kalar's actions make little sense. Why would she attack you? And if she succeeded, what does she gain from killing the hero of Baldur's Gate? Perhaps I'll find the answer in Dragonspear Castle. I am glad we had a chance to speak before you depart. But now... I must go. There are many demands on my time. If I do not attend to them, their number will only grow. Farewell. Alright, well, we'll see if there's anyone else we can talk to here. Probably this dude. Duke Elton. Greetings. How are you holding up? My feelings are of no consequence. I suggest you concern yourself with matters that are... I see. <laughs> as pleasant as it is to speak with you, I am required elsewhere right now. Oh, if you do venture into the city, be sure to take Captain Corwin with you. A talented officer, that one. She'll take care of you. I see. That's just a straight up nobleman. There's one more person I thought I saw. Yes, you. Jospel. You are welcome here. It's a bad business, a terrible business, all of it. What is? I'm too depressed to talk right now. Give me a moment, please. I need to compose myself. So you're a giant wee waste of time. Where's the captain? Oh, is that her? Yes. Baldur's Gates await. 
Baldur's Gate awaits. Wow, I can't talk. I'd like to get my gold before we leave. The Duke Purser Ophilus has been holding it for you. You'll find him in the basement near the treasure room, if not actually inside of it. I'll be here when you return. I need to purchase some supplies. All right, well, let's be off first. Uh, wait, no, I need my money first. Where's the basement? Hmm. The palace basement. Stairs up, stairs up, stairs down. Perfect. It is over there. I'm gonna walk over, <laughs> just walk over Imowen while she's lying dead I'm on, on it. it. This does not seem like a good place to put your money. This place is creepy. Is there someone out there? Who's in there? I'm an officer of the Flaming Fist. You gotta get me out of here. How'd you get in there? A doppelganger tricked me into opening the door and then took my face and locked me in here. Please, find a key and let me out. Possible that that's true. Also, why would you put your treasury in with your dungeon? A cell key. Well, we can actually put this weapon here and save ourselves a little bit of room. We can't do it with that one though, unfortunately. Oh, we could have filled up with some axes and stuff. Oh, whatever. It's fine. It doesn't matter. I'm just complaining now. Now, is this an actual person in need of help or a doppelganger of his own? Guess we'll find out very soon. Is someone out there? It's me again. Have you found me a way to get out of this damnable door? I found a key. I'm gonna open it. Thank the gods. I thought I'd never get out of this cell. You aren't out of it yet, friend. My name is Idianali. Idianali. That's a hard name. I'm an officer with the Flaming Fist. I stumbled upon a mage in Saravok's service. She tricked me, locking me in the cell. And how did she manage that? I can't just stand around here talking. I've got to sneak, speak to my commander. You have my gratitude. I'd give you more had I more to give, but I do not. Now I must bid you farewell. Maybe he's fine. Who knows? Oh, there's Ophelia. Ophelius. Ophelius? You are welcome here. Oh, uh, hello. What brings you down to the palace treasury this night? Don't be coy. What does one usually go to a treasure room for? You, uh, want your money, do you? If you'd be so kind. Yes, well, see, here's the thing. That's, uh, in regards to your gold, there's a little problem. I, uh, don't have it at the moment. I see, and at which moment do you expect you will have it? I can get the gold for you very soon, I swear. Please don't tell Duke Belt of this. I'll lose my post. I won't tell Belt. Why well, can't I ask her what happened to the gold? I won't tell Belt. You can tell him yourself immediately. He needs to know what's happening down here. Oh no, please, don't make me do that. How long will it take you to recover what you've lost? Please, just a little more time. I'll get it for you, I swear. I'll go right now, fetch it for you. Shall I? Yes, I'll go now. I'll meet you outside the palace with your money before you leave. Can't force the door, apparently. Yep. No dice. My money's all gone. Luckily we have some loot to sell, I guess. Which actually makes going upstairs to grab those other items pretty important. We can at least grab two more one-handed weapons. Sorted. Right, what's this then? Emowyn is alive, more or less, right now. Alright, we can take this. Oh. We can drop some stuff on the ground. Like that key. I guess we don't really need that key anymore. But most importantly, we can grab one battle axe. Can't do a buckler. We might be able to do a gem. And we're gonna take quarter stuff plus one? Sure. That might be worth a bit. Alright. Right, 
us. What's this then? So, let us head back. Ah, oh, it's the wrong way. How do we get out of here again? Wait, this is the second floor. No? No, yeah, we're on the right floor. Okay. No, we're not. We're one floor up. Somebody lost all my gold. I don't like that. That is not okay. Sorted. Alright. Let's get out of here. Apparently some former companions await me as well. The Flaming Fist tracked down a few of your known associates. Unfortunately, several are beyond our reach. Which ones? Garrick? Ugh. Safana? Okay. Corin? Yeah. They're at the Elf Song Tavern. Dinah Hare and her bodyguard Minx are at the Three Old Kegs. Rasad is at the Iron Throne Building. Council made a refugee for those fleeing Kalar. Someone named TX. Oh, TX! Cool! Locked up in the Flaming Fist headquarters. Where's Vicania? We found the drow, in the company of a Durgar, no less. They've been hired on the Dragon Spear Expedition. You'll see them in the morning. Should you wish to speak with them? Okay. Can't see what you would, though. I argued against their kind joining us, but these are desperate times. I'm ready to leave right now. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of people outside. Are you cutting down refugees? The flaming Fist is trying to keep the peace, but it's an uphill battle. That's uncool. Anyways, that's going to be the end of our video here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.